Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Libra's reading for the first half of July. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Libras. Now, if this reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. I do want you to check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign to get a better picture of what you need to know. Okay, so I'm going to do a different spread. Um, and I'm using my Messages of Love Oracle deck to lay out your spread. But I will walk you through it, so no worries. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, Libra. Let's see what we get for you. Overall energy. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay? With abundance right behind that. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So maybe you've been working on something. You've been trying to build some type of abundance. You've been trying to achieve something. It might not have been coming through for you just yet. Spirits like patience. Okay? Relax. Okay? I'm just joking. All right. So what's going on right now? Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Okay? So there could be someone that spirit is encouraging you to be vulnerable with. Okay? What happened in the recent past? Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay? So whatever was going on in the past, recent past, Spirit is saying you're safe. Okay? No worries. Immediate future? Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Okay? So you may have to put someone in their place. Or people. The influence? Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge, okay? So this is all because of retreat. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and your advice? Stability. This relationship can't stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. We have patience for some abundance. Okay, I'm going to do like a double clarification, okay? I'm going to use my twin flame deck to clarify because I like the messages that come through on it and then I'm going to use a regular tarot deck to clarify each position got it all right so overall energy we have patience first half of July why is patience here there it is fifth dimension <laughs> okay fifth dimension and separation so you might be in separation from someone okay but intuitively you guys are communicating okay with the fifth dimension card all right so even though you might not have heard from someone spirit is like Patience. Patience. Okay. Yeah. It's just not the right time, maybe. Okay. Why is patience here um, as the overall energy for Libra? Patience. Memories. Oh, okay. So we have memories. Okay. Nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go, okay? You might be thinking about this person, okay? Um, maybe thinking about how comfortable you felt with each other, okay? But with the received card on the bottom and romance, okay? Spirit is like patience, okay? Like, there will, be, there will come a time where, where you'll receive the same type of attention again, even if it's not from the same person, okay? Let's clarify. Using the tarot deck for Libra, first half of July. Okay. Why is patience here for Libra in the first half of July? Okay. You might have memories of feeling more secure. Okay. Because the home card does, it, does say secure. And we have stability here as the advice. Okay. With the seven of cups here, this is about you worrying but also dreaming about what you want in relationship okay if the love is energy you're manifesting a partner okay um you may be dreaming about this person um in your sleep okay why is patience here for libra okay dreaming about um what type of partner you want okay reflecting on memories of relationships from your past that may have made you feel more secure okay with the seven of pentacles here in the world, okay, spirit is like the wait is over, okay, so yeah, don't worry, okay, with the eight of swords and the knight of cups, okay, this is someone that um, might be a little stuck, 
uh, maybe with how to come forward might be a little stuck with uh, whether they should. Okay, why is patience here? Why is patience here for Libra? Okay, five of wands and the queen of cups. Okay, I feel like this is your energy with the queen of cups. This could be someone that you had a conflict with. Okay, so they are... Um, like looking at all of their options a little worried maybe even about approaching you okay with the high priestess energy in the chariot but you know that they're coming okay you know they're gonna hit you hit you you know they're gonna reach out you know you're gonna hear from them okay um this can even be you know the energy of like with that fifth dimension card um you can almost feel it okay yeah like they're gonna hit you up, talk to you, communicate. Maybe they want to go out or something like that. You can feel, okay. Spirits like patience, okay. Because in the recent past, we have protected, okay. You are safe and divinely guided, okay. Now, something could have occurred in the recent past to, and spirit wants to like you know reassure you that that occurred because you were being protected, okay. With journal, okay. It says write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. So whatever occurred in a recent past, spirit wants you to process it, okay? Process it because there is a change in the air. There's some balance that is happening, okay? There is a change. Why did uh, why is protected here in a recent past for Libra? Okay, split energy and alone, okay? It says options, unfocused, multitasking, decide what you really want. With alone on the bottom, abandon, lonely, loss, the divine is with you, Okay? Yeah, maybe you being alone or being by yourself is making you have split energy, okay? And not knowing, like, if you made the right choice, um, if you're going to ever find love again, um, if a relationship is even for you, right? It's making you question, it, okay? Right. Why is protected here in the recent past, for Libra? Spirit wants you to process all of what occurred in the past and understand that, number one, you were protected, Okay? That even though something occurred, that you were protected, all right? And that, and Spirit wants you to process all of what occurred so that you can um, come out of maybe the split energy, okay? With the Ten of Coins, all right? And the Eight of Cups, Hierophant on the bottom, okay? And with the Empress, all right? That's your energy, Libra. And Taurus as well. Yeah. There could have been a situation, a long-term commitment, um, maybe even a, 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 a job or a career that you walked away from, right? But with the Hierophant energy and the Empress energy and the Five of Cups, you may be questioning, was that the right decision? Okay. Why is protected here in the recent past? Okay. Because we do have split energy here and journal. Okay. Yeah. Three of Wands, okay, is about waiting. Okay, waiting to move forward, waiting to move into something different, waiting to move into something else. Okay, you might have even questioned like, should I have moved forward or should I have waited? Okay, um, because someone might have walked away from a long-term commitment or something that was very stable. Okay, or their stability. Okay, um, this is all occurring because of retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Why is retreat here for Libra? Why is retreat here for Libra as the why, as the influence? Hidden path in inner child, okay? The inner child card is about playful, happy, enjoy your present moment, live to the fullest, okay? You might have um, been influenced um, or been encouraged to retreat um, at some point to gain a new perspective, to discover your options, okay? It says detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction, okay? Um, to go into a direction that makes you more happy. This kind of feels like a, a career reading, all right? Um, with the big goals here and the inner child card, go into a direction that fulfills you, okay? So it's almost like Spirit wanted you to take a step back so that you can um, go into a direction that fulfills you, okay? You might have walked away from a money situation and you're kind of like, you know, should I have waited to do that? Did I make the right decision? Okay, Spirit is like, you were protected, don't worry. Okay, why is retreat here? Why is retreat here as the influence? Spirit wants you to go into um, a time of reflection maybe with the hidden path. 
okay? To explore maybe new opportunities. Wise retreat here for Libra, first half of July. Okay. Okay, chariot energy. Okay, this is about moving. Okay, um, this can be relocating. This can be driving. Okay, but this is the energy of moving forward. Okay, you're going into a new direction. Spirit might have asked you to retreat, take some time back, take a step back, or you had some time to retreat so that you can figure out your next direction or your next course in life. Okay, with the death energy, this is a transformation, but it's something that's coming to a close. Yeah, so if you were to type to um, to do something without really being confident in your decision making, that's changing, okay? This retreat is giving you the um, energy to, or the confirmation, this retreat time is giving you the confirmation to move forward um, towards all of what you want, the abundance that you are manifesting and creating for yourself with confidence, Okay, you could also be um, leaving behind a fire sign that constantly caused you to question yourself. Okay, with the will of fortune here, yeah, and the world, two major arcana. We actually have three major arcana here, so definitely you were encouraged by spirit to retreat. Okay, yeah, but the will of fortune here, this is about destiny. Okay, it was important for you to. Take a step back to really figure out what direction you want to go into so that you can move forward in it in confidence, okay? With the world energy, yes, it's beginning a new cycle, okay? You might even get communication. That's why spirit is like, wait for the abundance. You might get communication from someone. I might start off real small, a small little off of the Page of Pentacles. Could be from an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But this is a small little offer to build on something, to work together on something, to collaborate on something. And it's everything that you want with the star energy, Aquarius, okay? So, understand that things happen when they, you know, for a reason, the way they're supposed to for your highest good. I just said this to Gemini. So, you know, air signs, it's a collective message, okay? Because currently we have vulnerability. Maybe things are tight right now. Maybe things are, you know, on hold right now, okay? But there's someone that you can be vulnerable with, okay? We have twin flames, external love, reincarnation, passion, twin seeking union, okay? It could be someone that you have a deep bond with, okay? Chaser, in pursuit, convincing, rejection, let them go and let it be. Could be someone that chases you or you chase them, okay? Sacred journey, understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery, okay? Yeah, I think you are discovering more about yourself. And inner child, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest. And what it is that you want out of life, or even right now, okay? With the beliefs card here, and yes, it says, similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart with yes and fertility. This is a situation that can be fertile, okay? So whatever you're feeling, whatever um, questions you might have, spirit might be encouraging you to be open, Okay, you can be vulnerable with this person and communicate what it is that you want. Okay, why is vulnerability here as what's going on right now for Libra, first half of July? Okay. The five of swords, no, four swords, seven of swords, okay, and the eight of pentacles, okay. Um... The four swords is in the seven swords, it's like healing trust issues, healing the deception. Okay. Um, this could be someone that you didn't trust, okay, or someone that you see as a twin flame, you know. Um, you are in pursuit of them or in pursuit of a dream or in pursuit of something. Communicate what it is that you are in pursuit of. Heal whatever trust issues or deception you might have around this person. Okay. Um, and put in the work on this connection, Libra. Okay, yeah. Why is vulnerability here for Libra? You can be vulnerable with this person, okay? Yeah, Tower, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. 
And when you do that, Libra, when you do that, okay, you have an unexpected change, okay? Unexpected change, okay? You come together, you're happy, you're fulfilled, you're feeling comfortable, you're feeling secure with the home cart. You are feeling um, unbothered, okay, by the direction or the path that you are taking, okay? You're not questioning yourself anymore, okay? Three of Cups and the Sun card, you're having fun, you're enjoying life. As soon as you... Heal all your trust issues, okay? With the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, um, Ten of Swords, okay? This could be someone who's experienced some type of, like, heart, heartbreak um, that caused them to kind of, like, go dolo solo, right? And so it's making you question, like, collaborating with anybody else again, okay? Yeah, with the Magician Energy, you might even feel like, I created that. So whatever betrayal you went through, you might feel like you were the cause, like, if I hadn't did this, if I hadn't did that, if I only did this, if I only did that, I wouldn't even experience that. No. Get that out your head. Because everything happens for a reason. If you hadn't gone through that experience, you would have never gained the knowledge that you gain now with the Sacred Journey card to be in a position where you can even be vulnerable with a person. To tell someone exactly what type of um, connection that you do want. To see the habits inside of you that you want to change. Okay? Would you have been your best self now? If you hadn't gone through ex the experience that you experienced in the past, probably not, okay? Probably still be in that experience, okay? Going crazy, okay? So, the advice is stability. It says, this relationship can stand the test of time. That's what we want, right? Bonnie and Clyde. Everybody wants a Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Someone you can do your dirt with and you know they ain't going to tell nobody. Okay, right? Stability here for Libra as the advice. Why is stability here for Libra? Okay, deception. Okay, and fear. Okay, if you fear, if you fear or feel, okay, if you feel like a connection or someone um, might not be as stable as you anticipated to be or you thought it was or whatever fear is going up inside you know it's from your own past fears okay this is those trust issues okay that you have developed that you won't let somebody in okay so with the stability card here spirit is like this can stand the test of time all right if you are feeling any type of deception that's just fear okay why stability here for libra first half of july Okay. These feel they went on the floor. Yes, and beliefs with balance. Okay. So, yes, yeah, similar clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. Yes. Okay. With balance on the bottom, we have fertility and big goals. This person will meet you halfway. This person will bring balance and harmony into the situation. This person is not like the last person. Okay. Yeah. So, with the stability card being your advice, okay. This definitely is about healing trust issues, okay? And seeing the fertility in something, how a situation, a job, a career, new career path, or a new person can be um, successful, okay? Why stability here as the advice for Libra, first half of July? Six of Swords, okay? And the Empress, okay? That's your energy, Libra, okay? But this is about moving on to something better. And you're moving on to abundance, okay, with the Empress energy. That's what was right there um, behind patience, abundance, okay? Why stability here as the advice? The King of Wands, okay, and the Nine of Wands, okay? This is the King of taking action, the King of inspiration, doing something, whatever, right? So you're tired, okay, of maybe not achieving certain uh, successes. You're tired of always um, maybe coming in short, okay, when it comes to like having a stable partner, someone to have your back, um, Bonnie and Clyde, stable partnership, okay. Maybe you're tired of um, always being like, you know, neglected or left out in the cold or in a situation that is unstable. Okay. And you know that. Okay. So you're taking actions, um, to, 
to overcome that, okay? You're taking actions to um, to conquer that, that, that uh, past history, okay? With the stability card here, you may be also um, seeing that within yourself and saying, okay, this is something I want to change. Nine of Pentacles, okay, is about independence, financial stability, okay, because you're tired of maybe living paycheck to paycheck, okay? And Magician is about creation, okay? Creating something that is balanced and fair, having a passionate new beginning with someone that you um, have deep emotion for. It's like whoever this Libra energy is, um, this is someone who has experienced relationships that have always come, they've, but they've always kind of come up short. Okay, and so they, whoever this is, is like recognizing what it is that they want in partnership. Okay, the spirit also wants you to be to heal your trust issues. Okay, because in the immediate future, we have boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Why? Why is boundaries here in the immediate future for Libra? Potential. Okay, we're stuck, right. Fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless, okay? Somebody or something might try to interfere with whatever you are participating in that you see potential in, okay? With stuck and creativity, they might make you question yourself, okay? You have to be assured, self-assured, let's say that. Be self-assured and know the path that you're going in, okay? The direction, the hidden path that you're going in, okay? Why is boundaries here in the immediate future for Libra? Community, okay? Yeah, your family and your friends, okay? If you have to take a pause from your family and friends because they have too much influence over what you try and do in your life and the direction you try and take in your life, In my high vibrational self, I'm going to tell you to tell them politely to mind their business, okay? That you know what it is that you want in your life, you're grown, and you're going to do what you want. Mm -hmm. In my high vibrational self. But me personally, yeah, I'm going to be kind. Okay, <laughs> let's see. So with boundaries being here in the immediate future, let's see. You might have to tell some people mind in business. Why is boundaries here in the immediate future for Libra? Okay, because you see the potential in something. You know what you're doing. Okay, ain't nobody got to live your life but you. Why is boundaries here in the immediate future for Libra? Please clarify. Okay. Yeah. You got to put these boundaries in place because they're going to make you question yourself. Two of Pentacles, okay? When you know, okay... That is all coming from your past heartbreak from somebody who um, you might have made a decision. It could have been a, um, oh, this could be you, okay, with the Queen of Swords, energy Libra, air sign, okay? Maybe because, um, yeah, firm boundaries are needed in the immediate future because your family, your friends might make you question the potential of something, okay? Make you juggle. When intuitively you know Okay, that um, is all coming from your past fears and your past heartbreaks and heartbreak and experiences. Um, you could have been disappointed by um, a job that you made changes for or disappointed by a person. Okay, it's all because of the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, that's making you question giving of yourself. Mm -hmm. But giving of yourself, Page of Cups, is justice. Okay. That is the right thing to do. Okay? So tell everybody my name business. Okay? Yeah. You might get an offer or want to give an offer. Don't let other people make you question your decisions. I'm going to be kind. So that's what I have for you should. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye. <laughs>